Welcome back to another AI news update from Tarantella Design, where we explore how technology and creativity are shaping the world. Today is October 6th, 2025, and we have major stories in global AI development, healthcare innovation, art authentication, and ethics. Let's dive in. At the Alibaba Cloud Conference, the company revealed its roadmap to artificial superintelligence, outlining a long-term plan toward AGI and ASI, a direct challenge to US dominance. The announcement sent Alibaba's stock soaring to record highs. Meanwhile, China is stepping up domestic chip manufacturing to close the gap with NVIDIA, signaling a national push for full AI independence. OpenAI introduced a specialized GPT-5 instant model designed to respond empathetically to sensitive mental health queries. The update enables the system to auto-adjust tone and pacing when users express emotional distress. Alongside this, OpenAI rolled out improved reasoning and a new agent that can perform computer control tasks like debugging code or file management directly through ChatGPT. Researchers at MIT use generative AI to reveal how narrow-spectrum antibiotics target gut bacteria, a key step toward faster treatments for Crohn's disease and IBD. At the same time, IBM Watson announced a molecular prediction upgrade for drug discovery, dramatically cutting early-stage research time from months to days. Japan's government and industry partners launched a pilot program to move AI computing from centralized data centers to factories and infrastructure, a concept known as Edge AI. The goal, real-time analytics with lower energy use and faster industrial decision-making. Anthropic secured a massive $500 million investment to strengthen AI alignment and reduce bias in next-generation models. Meanwhile, Italy made history as the first EU nation to pass comprehensive AI legislation, imposing criminal penalties for harmful deepfakes and restricting children's use of generative AI tools. The virtual actress Tilly Norwood sparked renewed Hollywood debate over AI-generated performers. SAG-AFTRA issued warnings about job displacement, while SNL lampooned the controversy alongside J.K. Rowling's remarks. In Japan, authorities opened investigations into AI-generated child abuse imagery, announcing 18-month nationwide countermeasures. In the art world, AI analysis confirmed that the Wildenstein version of Caravaggio's The Loot Player is the true original, surpassing the Met's long-believed edition. Algorithms compared brushstroke patterns and pigment aging, showing how AI now solves centuries-old authenticity disputes. The U.S. Air Force revealed successful tests of AI-piloted drones under a new command structure described as a different kind of Air Force. Analysts say the same technology carries investor risks. The Wall Street Journal cautioned that the global rush toward AGI could lead to regulatory hurdles and inflated valuations. That's it for October 6, 2025. From China's superintelligence race to OpenAI's new empathy engine and AI's role in art and ethics, this week proves the line between human and machine keeps blurring. Thanks for watching Tarantella Design. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us for the next update, where innovation meets imagination.